Hello everyone, I'm the CNC Repairman. Let's go over way cover repair. You're probably not gonna be getting into your way covers very often. Maybe if you need to change a switch or a cable or a motor, or maybe they're blown apart and that's why you need to get into them. In either case, let's talk about how to safely take them apart, get them out of your machine, how to clean them, repair them, put new wipers in them, and how to put them back into your machine. I'm the CNC Repairman. I'm going to show you how the Niagara Falls is full of awesome. Usually, it's the x-axis way covers that somebody rips apart. Or it could be the front Y or the back Y. Z, I don't really see a lot of issues with those other than people running into them. Here's a way cover that I just removed. One of the pieces is separated. Let's talk about how to take this way cover off and how to reinstall it. You're gonna want a 532nd bit driver Allen wrench. I think that's the easiest. And you've got two screws here and two screws here. You're gonna want a putty knife in case there's any goop holding it on. On the back side, there are two screws that hold it. They're pretty easy to take apart. Then you can slide the way cover back and pull the whole assembly out. When you're reinstalling it, the screw holes that have the nuts on the back side, which would be over here, on this side, or if you can see, those two screw holes would be here and here. You're gonna wanna get a little Allen wrench or a pick, stick it through the hole to help hold it up because it's gonna be all over the place. Then you can take your Allen wrench or your nut driver and drive the other one in loose, then pick it up and find this one. Then you're gonna wanna jog X closer to the end, install these and slowly jog back and forth. Let's take this way cover apart. It doesn't look great, but it looks all right. The way covers usually pack little tiny sharp chips inside of them. I like to wear gloves when I'm working on them. And sometimes the edges can be really sharp. I've sliced myself pretty good working on way covers. These gloves don't do much, but at least they're a little bit of protection. So each way cover has a stop, kind of a catch right here that allows it to accordion out. That's fully pulled out. Now, I like to clean the chips and clean everything out here. Now there's a missing wiper here. So if you tip it up, pull it forward, and then we can tilt it out just a little bit and bend up, we can get them to come apart. Now the weight covers for X are the same on either side, and on small machines, the back Y cover is one piece. Larger machines, the back will be an accordion for the Y, and the front Y will also be an accordion. Now that I've got this apart, you can see the wiper and the stop. So to do a little maintenance on this, I'll clean this stop, clean all the chips and the grease out of it, and then I'll clean inside here and I'll check to see if this area is bent, if this area is bent, and what these catch areas look like. This is where the way cover is gonna bind if it has an issue when I'm homing the machine. If you're gonna go to all this effort, I'd recommend to replace all the wipers and that way they're all fresh. In this case, I'm only gonna replace the bad one. You can purchase this particular material from CNC replacement parts by the foot so you can only get as much as you need. You'll grab your way cover. You wanna be sure that this little track that holds it in is open enough that you can shove it in. It stays in there pretty tight. Let's set it down here. And once you get it in, you're just gonna squeeze this with some channel locks or some vice grips, and then that'll keep it in. This is tough stuff. So right here, I'm just squeezing, kind of giving it a pinch right on the way cover and the bent up spot welded L bracket that holds the wiper in. It really probably doesn't need it, but a little bit of extra squish won't hurt. It was pretty tight to push it in. 
This way cover wiper is original. This is a 1996 machine. So this here wiper should last another 25, 30 years. I've got the new wiper installed. For the demonstration, we're just going to do one. And now I'm going to clean all of this and put it back together. Now that I got this all cleaned off and I used the whole roll of rags, it's ready to go back into the machine and get all dirty again. So let's put it together one piece at a time. This is the first piece that goes against the bulkhead where it bolts in. So the clip here has got to go on the inside of the wiper. Then I'm going to kind of tip it up while pulling this out to get it over the edge. It's pretty easy on a small machine. On the big machines, it can be much more difficult. So here it goes, wiper down. I'm gonna pop it in past, then tip it up. Boom, first one's in. Now we're gonna get the next one in and lay this down, flip it over. Here we go, at an angle, angle, in, and you'll notice these sections are a little tight and you kind of have to bend it out just a little bit. You don't want to over bend it. There it is. Now it's going together. Same with the next one. A little bit of elbow grease. Oh, that time it didn't work. We'll try it again. If you're having a little bit of an issue, just grab these and bend them out but not too far to where they stay bent out. This one's like me in the morning, doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna get up, go together. There we go, okay. Too far, pop it out a little. There, I think we got it. I normally will use a soft hammer, and that'll sometimes help just kind of convince it. Here is our new wiper, right here. And here's the last piece. Gonna put it just on the inside of the wiper. Gonna give it this kind of tilt up. You separate them a little bit like this. That gives you a little bit more flex in it. Boom. Got the way cover together. Now this is a little way cover. The front is a little harder. All new wipers. It's semi clean. I know some people who power wash them. Just wipe them down with a little bit of light oil and you're done. And you can put a little bit of grease on the edges if you want. That kind of collects chips so I'm on the fence about that, but when you're checking them, you want to make sure you have the plastic tabs, that none of these are bent out or in. That'll have issues when it's rolling in and out, but these way covers are ready to go back on. Let's look at the Y axis. Wahoo! Doesn't this look fun? If I can even get it apart. There we go, wow. This thing looks yummy. Fun. Okay, let's tear it apart. Let's talk about this. You're gonna wanna scrape all of the old Sikaflex or caulking off of it. Same technique with the X-axis, it's just bigger. So let's start by separating them, get them out to the end, and then kinda tilt down, pull this out, and they'll pop apart. Just like that. The first one doesn't have a wiper, it's got a catch. If this catch is bent and the edges are bent out, you're gonna need to bend it back. The wiper here, it's a little brittle. It would be worth replacing if I was working in this. We're gonna look at the next one, but we'd get a screwdriver, bend it up, slide the new one in. Now this one, notice it's kind of already bent. It kind of popped out pretty easy. If you get confused, each one is successively smaller or bigger. 
So it's pretty easy. You don't have to label these. They only go one way. Here, we're missing a wiper. And that was pretty tight. I think it was packed full of chips. And we can get it apart. Whoa, this one's a real mess. Wow. Oh yeah, totally. This was me, and I was at a customer, I'd tell somebody to buy a new way cover. It's really hard to make way covers work correctly once they've been bent. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a pinch, but I don't think this way cover will ever correctly work, especially when you're rapiding to home or rapiding to the end of travel. It's too tight and it's gonna blow apart, and then once it blows apart, when it goes back together, they just crunch up. So it's kind of a fine line. Do you repair or do you replace? If you can't make it slide nicely and take it all apart, probably gonna wanna replace it. Whoa, whoa. I've never taken this one apart. You can tell this is right off of the trailer when I bought this thing. And you gotta watch out. These brass pieces are sharp. You can slice a finger really easy. Getting the chips out, now it's sliding a little easier. Maybe I can get this corner off. There, 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 okay. Separated. Okay. If you were a fab guy, you could fix that, I'm not. Right here, let's talk about this one. So, we're gonna bend these up. Let's scrape out this old hunk of junk. Whoa. That's the new one. There's a lot left. So here's the way cover. The edging doesn't look bent out. The plastic tabs are still here. That is just a tiny bit bent, but overall this section is okay. This is the, the back. So this would bolt to the front of Y. With a lot of time, this could easily be repaired. The hard part is, it's my experience, somebody spends an hour repairing a way cover, they put it back together, and it sort of works, and then it blows apart. So, kind of on you if you wanna repair them. But this one, if I was to repair it, I don't know if you can't tell, but this machine ain't ever making parts. You'd bend this up to repair, and Take your way cover wiper, the thicker side with the angle pokes out, and there it's partly in. Good as gold, good for another 30 years. So let's put it back together, like that, why not? Good enough. This is the end piece, and let's see, this wiper is in okay shape. Drop it in. I had it backwards. The catch has to be past where the wiper holder is. Tilt it up, kind of bend it out. And now it's together. So that's how you would put the rest of this together. There's only two more pieces. These two would go over it like this. Now that's a little bent out, that's gonna have an issue. Then we put our piece with the new wiper. 
like that. It's nice to work on these on a bench or on the floor, upside down. We're putting it together. See, maybe. This one's in rough shape. Let's just pretend it. Okay, it's back together. Ugh. So, let's talk about putting it back on the machine. There's one big bolt that you can reach right in front of where the crescent wrench, you can tighten that on. Then you're gonna jog Y back. We're gonna put the screws in, a little bit of silicone. Then the most crucial part is that you jog slowly forward and slowly back to the end of travel. After you've done that, then you can go ahead and do a rapid to end, rapid to home. And you wanna be sure these don't blow out and when you get to the end of travel, that one of them isn't sticking. Thanks for watching the way cover video. Sorry my way covers are such trash. I hope yours are in better shape. And if you need more parts for your machine like way cover wipers or anything else, please give us a call, look up our website, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I gotta find what I'm gonna do with this hunk of garbage here. Just uh... done with that. Now I gotta clean up. Thanks for watching.